Right, everybody. So this is the video that uh, I said that I'm going to post. I'm sorry for doing that so late. But anyway, here it is. So basically what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to solve some reflection and rotational symmetry questions with the help of, yep, you guessed it, a uh, tracing paper. Okay. And we'll see now about the tracing paper. Yes, there's a whole debate going on that whether it's allowed or not. So I posted a separate video of that. And just to sum it up, officially it's allowed. It says on your question paper that it's allowed, but sometimes the invigilators, the examiners aren't aware of that. So you can always tell them politely that uh, why don't you have a look at the question paper and see it says that you may use a tracing paper clearly and then they might change their mind. Okay. But regardless, you shouldn't just rely on this method. You should know a plan. You should have a plan B also. And uh, what exactly will be that plan B? I'll, may, I'll, I'll show you that also in not in this video, in the next part. Okay. Which I'll post immediately. Don't worry. Okay. So it says here, the diagram shows this, by the way, is a question from October, November 2017, paper 11, okay? So it says here, the diagram shows a part of a figure that has AB as its line of symmetry. So you can see it's going over here, complete the figure. Okay, so if this is the line of symmetry and you have to complete it, so symmetry is just like reflection, okay? So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna think of this as my line of reflection and reflect every single point along this line, okay? So here's this point, if I reflect this point along this line, so I can see that this point is one diagonal away. So reflecting it will take me over here, okay? So this point is taken care of. Now this point is one diagonal above the line of symmetry, so reflecting it will bring me over here, all right? So this point is taken care of, this point is taken care of. Now this point also is half a diagonal above, so reflecting it means that bringing it half a diagonal below, okay? And this point is gonna stay where it is, because it's on the line of reflection, that means it's invariant. Okay, now that we have done this, we're gonna join this with the help of a straight line. And there you go, this right here. Now your figure is completed, okay? And yeah, that's it. Uh, you get one mark for this, and there you go. That's Now, part B, now this is basically where I want to focus on uh, rotation symmetry. Okay, this was reflection symmetry, this is rotation symmetry. And we're gonna learn this with the help of a tracing paper. So it says shade two more small squares so that the completed diagram has rotational symmetry of order four. Okay, so first of all, rotational symmetry of order four means that you should get the exact same shape after every 90 degree rotation. How do I know that? Well, 360 is a full circle. Dividing it by the order of rotational symmetry meaning uh, means that you end up with 90 degrees. So you should get what? You should get the exact same shape, shape after every 90 degree rotation. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my tracing paper on top. I'm just gonna quickly uh, trace the shaded boxes just like that okay and yeah so that's done so what I'm going to do now is now bear in mind that you have to shade two small boxes okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold my tracing paper uh, firmly and rotate it 90 degrees okay so when I rotate it 90 degrees what you can do is in fact you can you can fix your pencil at the center point okay so that uh, the position doesn't change so when you rotate it 90 degrees so just like that well, so what that tells us is, that basically tells us that, um, so basically, let's have a look at it again. Okay, do you have a better idea? So we can see that this, this uh, rectangle, this set of rectangles basically take place of, I mean, these two, this set of rectangles land over here. Okay, so this is basically already taken care of. And these ones, the ones over here, are gonna end up over here. Okay, I hope you can see it clearly. Okay, so the ones over here, okay, the ones over here are going to land over here, okay? But the problem is that only one of the two is shaded. So quickly lift your tracing paper and shade this one, okay? And then you can see that we also need to shade this square also to make sure that this figure has rotational symmetry of order four. So let's do that quickly. And there you go, once you're done, okay? Don't just move on to the next question. Have a good look at it. And before you step away from it, make sure that it makes sense to you that yes, once you rotate this square 90 degrees once, so these two rectangles will take will end up over here, these two will end up over here, and these two will end up over here. And this will happen a total of four times in a full 360 degree rotation. So that was one question. Let's move on and do another question. I'm gonna do this question also with the help of a tracing paper. So as far as question two part A says, this by the way is from Asian 2017 paper 12. It says shade one more small triangle in the shape below to make a pattern with one line of symmetry. Okay, now this requires a bit of trial and error. So imagine that you have a line of symmetry that's running from here to here. That means you'd have to shade this triangle so that these two take care of each other. And if you have a line running from here to here, so that means you would also have to shade this one. But the question has only allowed us to shade one. So that's out the window. Let's try something else. 
So now just to give you guys a quick tip, once one triangle is shaded, that means you'll have a total of three shaded triangles. Now, the only way that you could have one line of symmetry when you have three triangles shaded means that one has to be divided by two. Okay, so if there were, let's say, a total of four triangles, then you can have one line of symmetry. So you have two on one side and two on the other side. Okay, but if you have a total of three shaded triangles, that means one has to be divided by two. Okay, so that's just a little tip. Maybe uh, that, that might just help you understand where the line of symmetry is. So this is where the line of symmetry is going to be. So this way, what happens is that these two halves just take care of each other. Okay, and to make sure that this triangle is symmetrical, I mean, uh, to make sure that this is the line of symmetry, we'll shade this triangle. And you can see that we've just shaded one triangle to give this shape a rotational symmetry, or uh, to give this shape one line of symmetry. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Now we move on to the next part for which I'm gonna use a new tracing paper. So it says shade two small triangles in the shape below to make a pattern with rotational symmetry of order two. Okay, order two means that we should get the exact same shape once we have rotated it 180 degrees. How do I know that? 360 divided by the order of rotational symmetry, that is 180 degrees, okay. So we place the tracing paper over here. Now what you can do is, uh, just for reference, you can make an arrow that's pointing upwards on the tracing paper, so that once this arrow is pointing downwards, you would know that you have rotated it 180 degrees. I mean, you don't really have to do that, it's kind of, um, I mean, it's kind of common sense, you would know when you, once you've rotated 180 degrees, but you know, just to be on the safe side. Okay, now, so quickly, let's see, let's have a look at the shape. So we need to shade how many? We need to shade two more small triangles, okay. Now, so first thing I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna trace the shaded triangles, just like that, okay. And put your pencil at the very center, okay. And rotate the tracing paper 180 degrees. Oops, make sure to just rotate the tracing paper and not the question paper, just like that. Now you can see where the rotated triangles end up. So this triangle will rotate 180 degrees and land over here. That means I'm gonna shade this triangle over here. And this one ends up over here. So that means this is the triangle that I have to shade with. Let's have a look at it again. Yeah. So there you go. Don't need that anymore. So there you go. Tracing paper makes the whole thing a lot easier. I know. Okay. And I will also teach you an alternate method. So don't worry about that. So here is another question. This is from October, November, 2016, paper one, variant two. Now this says in the diagram, five small squares are shaded. Okay. Shade one more small square so that this diagram has exactly one line of symmetry. So uh, five are shaded. If I shade one more, that means we'll have a total of six. So we could have three on each side and maybe that'll do the job. Okay. So the line of symmetry definitely can't be a vertical line because that way we'll have to shade a lot more squares. So not just one. It can't be a horizontal line for the same reason. So that means it has to be a diagonal line. So let's try this one. Let's see if this is the line of symmetry. Make sure that you draw it with a very light pencil so that in case you get it wrong, you can always erase it and try something else. So these two take care of each other. Let's just put a cross there, okay? These two take care of each other. So in order to uh, make sure that this is the line of symmetry, we will reflect this square along the line of symmetry. And this way we'll have to shade just one small square to make sure that this shape has exactly one line of symmetry. So just to be on the safe side, let's see if we, if this were to be the line, I mean, this can't be the line of symmetry because, uh, well, because, you know, the squares aren't basically symmetrical, okay? So yeah, that's that. Okay, part B, part B says um, in the diagram, uh, three small squares are shaded, shade one more small square so that the diagram has rotational symmetry of order four. Okay, now, so basically, this let's let's try this with the other method that I mentioned, and we'll try the other uh, some other questions also with an alternate method. Okay, now what happens here is basically since it's order four, that means you'll have three sixty divided by four. So that means you'll get the exact same shape after every ninety degree rotation. Now just to make sure that uh, so so basically just just to understand the concept over here, once you rotate this rectangle ninety degrees, this will end up over here. This will end up over here. Now the question is, where does this rectangle end up? Now this question is fairly easy. We know that it's going to end up over here. But what if it, what if we want it to be like 100% sure? Now this is basically um, I don't know if, if uh, I haven't seen this method anywhere. It just is just something that's uh, that just occurred to me randomly. 
and but it works all the time so what you can do is you can sort of identify the center of the shape okay make a line okay and uh, make a line that is up until the shaded square okay so just like that over here now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this line 90 degrees okay so the same length and we're going to rotate this line 90 degrees and see where exactly does this end up so if i rotate this line 90 degrees okay so that means it's going to end up over here okay so what this tells me this tells me this sort of tells me that where exactly will the shaded square is going to be so you can see over here that this is the 90 degree mark so that means rotating this line 90 degrees means that this square once rotated 90 degrees it's going to end up over here so you can you can use this method also this method also it basically helps you find out what rectangle it is that you have to shape now i know what you're probably thinking you're probably thinking that this is easy because you know this is 90 degrees but we can apply this method on a different question which i have over here so i'm going to solve for you guys if i can find it uh, wait a minute where did i keep it okay so here's another question and this says so this one's fairly simple again it's uh, dealing with line of symmetry so let me just put this underneath yeah this is dealing with line of symmetry it says complete the diagram so that a b is the only line of symmetry so you can see that uh, we can reflect all the points over here along this line so this is one diagonal well, one unit to the right so after reflecting it it's going to go one unit to the left this is two units to the right after reflecting it it's going to go two units to the left this point is on the line of symmetry so it's not going to go anywhere this point is one unit to the right so reflecting it will take it one unit to the left so this part is taken care of okay now for this one this point is not going to go anywhere this point is not going to go anywhere this point is one unit to the left so it's going to go one unit to the right this point is also one unit to the left so this is going to go one unit to the right and there you go you have your four points one two three and there you go so that's it you have one line of symmetry and this by the way is from major 2014 okay now the question that i really want to solve is this one okay so this says shade four small triangles in the shape below to make a pattern with rotation symmetry of order three okay so order three means 360 divided by three which means 120 degrees so that means after you've rotated this triangle 120 degrees you would know where exactly what exactly uh, shape it is that you have to shade okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly identify the center of this shape okay and just make a small line that's uh, that is basically up until this triangle over here now what i need to know is i need to find out what this line looks like once i've rotated it 180 degrees so for 120 degrees sorry so for that we're going to use a protractor and we're going to place it over here now this is a lot of work for just one mark but you know at least you can be sure that you'll always get this right so this is the line over here and this is what 120 degrees so basically this is the zero yeah this is the zero over here and what we need to know is we need to know that no wait actually this is the line yeah sorry about that yeah. this is the line and now rotating it 120 degrees means it's going to be over here somewhere okay so now if you make a line if you sort of imagine this line being rotated 120 degrees you can see that it's going to end up over here that means what triangle are you going to shade this is the triangle that you're going to shade okay and then now imagine that there is a line that's up until this triangle over here or you can rotate this line 120 degrees yeah in fact that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to darken this line a little so you guys can see it clearly okay and let's rotate this line 120 degrees okay so this is the line rotating it 120 degrees means that it's going to end up over here now that doesn't mean that you end up joining these two points and making like a huge line out of it okay but this sort of tells you gives you an idea that this is where it's going to end up okay so so far how many have you shaded we have shaded two and how many more to go uh two more to go okay so that means this triangle is taken care of now we need to worry about this triangle now i know this is something you can very easily imagine you can imagine that it's going to end up over here and then once you rotate it it's going to end up over here but just to understand the concept just for the sake of explaining the concept i'm going to use this method and i'm going to draw a line over here okay and then you can always erase these lines and then sort of imagine what this line would look like if you were to rotate it 120 degrees so you can see this is where it ends up right you don't have to make a line just shade this rectangle over here 
and then rotate this line 120 degrees in the other direction doesn't matter whether you rotate a line I mean imagine you can you've made a line over here and then if you're rotating this line it's the same thing okay so if you have a line over here and imagine what this would look like if you were to rotate it 120 degrees so it would be something like this so it's passing through this triangle over here so this is the triangle that we're going to shade now I know this is a lot of work for just one mark as I mentioned but uh, you guys asked me for an alternate method so here it is I hope it makes sense to you and I hope uh, this makes this rotational symmetry problem a lot easier for you uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section if you don't like it well feel free to let me know but if you do like it then also feel free to let me know so yeah that's about it uh, see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye